This morning at Jinx, we've got Millie in, part of the Alpha group, and then we've got Harmony in as well, who's lower ranked. Harmony on the right and Millie on the left. Jinx is deciding he can get more seeds on the outside of his cage than inside. And it's good because the others are joining in eating the seeds as well, all comfortably. We'll be able to share each other's space is important before they go out into the before they go out into the troop together. The noise was Rocky drinking from a water bowl. He comes and sits with me on integrations. The monkeys are used to him. They do eyebrow him sometimes, but um, other than that, they tolerate each other's existence. If another strange dog that they don't know though comes onto the property, then they will alarm call at it and be quite nervous, so it's only because they're used to him. Um, they're not getting used to all dogs, just the dogs that live here. So they can distinguish. If we look out into the troop from Jinx's cage, we've got Pedro walking closest, who we believe Jinx is forming some kind of alliance with. And then Apollo is in the distance. Apollo's always keeping an eye on Jinx to see what he's up to. So it's going to be interesting when he goes out into the troop next week as to how the boys behave. Apollo and Counter are two older males in the troop. So Apollo often looks around to see if Count's there and vice versa. Looking for backup. So we've got Victoria in with Jinx. Um, Victoria's just busy eating seeds, minding her own business. And we've got Millie up the top. And Jinx looking out into the troop, seeing where all the boys are. Some alarm calling in the troop going on, so they're just checking out. There's Pedro just walking by. And Victoria leaves. Quite a quiet morning for Jinx so far. But quiet's never a bad thing when it comes to integrations. We'd rather have the monkeys being calm and quiet than aggression and fighting for sure. Jinx today. Um, Victoria just screamed at Jinx because he went near her food. So um, she let out a big scream. But as you can see now, he's busy grooming her. Victoria is one of the low rankers. So all is calm. And it's just a few days before he's due to go out. So he's got a few days left of uh, social interactions, one-on-ones and combinations of females. And then he'll be taking his first steps out into the Holton Barrington enclosure for the first time. We're down at the Holton Barrington enclosure and it's Jinx's big day to go out into the enclosure for the first time today. He's a 13 year old male, he's lived with other females before but never really been out in a large enclosure like this one. So we're just waiting to get set up and then we'll see what he wants to do. There's a slight gap in the fence at the Holton Barrington enclosure, so some of our local guys are just fixing that up. It's not big enough that a monkey can escape, but that's why we keep on top of these things. We're just putting some cement there in the area. Make sure we're all prepared. And there's Jason, integration staff, ready and waiting. Jason noticed the gap this morning and we do an extra final check which was well spotted on the monitoring. On the monitoring we don't just check the monkeys, we also have to check the fences and the trees and see if there's any places potentially in the future they can get out. One would expect Jinx um, or any monkey just to run out the door once it's open but uh, it's never actually so, especially with the males. He's basically got to assess the situation uh, see what other males are around. So he has to be very, very cautious. You'll watch just now he does sort of like head movements to see if any of the other males see him. 
um, he'll be looking around to see where they are and if it's safe for him to quickly sneak out um, and walk around the enclosure to explore a little bit. There you did see the head movement. That's just to see if any other monkey actually notices him. So Jinx still hasn't gone out. It's been more than an hour now. Um, Millie's busy grooming him currently. We've kept the door open for him, but um, so far he's just walked past it. He's used to being in an intro cage, so he's probably not aware he's able to go out yet. That's Pedro on the outside. He's also uh, the lowest ranking male in the troop. Um, so this is a little bit of an argument going on. He's probably trying to show off a bit. And of course upsetting Jinx and Jinx is a situation that from outside there. I'm going to put you in your place if you're not careful. But uh, they probably end up the same rank and they know each other very well. Day two of Jinx going out. So we're just starting at gone 10 o'clock and he's had some opportunities to go out but uh, he hasn't gone yet. So we hope he will find the courage to leave his cage today. So far Lux he's in at the moment and he had some of the females in this morning. Jinx just uh, assessing the situation before he goes out basically just having a look where all the other males are positioned in the enclosure um, before he takes his decision so uh, this just helps him know where he can walk around to um, it's not easy to see them but there are another male hidden in the bush in the back there just keeping an eye on him here's jinx out in the troop it's actually the second time he went out very briefly before now he's gone out the second time it's taken him one and a half days, but finally he's out in the troop, taking his first steps. There's Harmony following him. And then there's Apollo, male. Apollo's a high ranked male, uh, probably the top or second top in the troop. I think seems quite calm at the moment. But with Apollo behind him, he needs to watch out. Got the boys there behind him, there's Apollo. So a high rank male is uh, just keeping an eye on what's going on. He's probably also containing Jinx um, to this area of the cage at the moment. Um, all kinds of stuff that they do is more like intimidation. So it's basically to show their rank um, and keep the other one in his place. So um, he won't really approach him. He'll just do things to try and stop him going further in the cage or getting somewhere um, or making sure he's in the pathway to disrupt the way um, Jinx is moving. He's outside Yankee's cage at the moment. Hope he remembers where his door is. If 
she wants to go in for a safe space. Is Apollo keeping an eye on him? Sometimes it's not always the first day you've got to watch out for. It can also be second, third and the next couple of weeks before the males start fighting or chasing. So let's see. Luckily he's only got a few males to contend with in this troop. Look at that health, healthy brave boy. He's walking all the way up to his intro cage. Having a look. Okay, and Jinx is back in. Hopefully he's proud of himself, taking the first steps. Jinx is the third time he's been out on his second day, second attempted day. On the first day he didn't go out at all. We have Count uh, there in the background, just keeping an eye on what's going on. There we've got Luxie approaching, following him. Um, and then Count in the background. So we'll see what happens now with the boys. Luxie's following him. So Count is actually Apollo's right-hand man. Uh, Count is a much older um, monkey, so he wouldn't have the strength really to take Jinx on. So he'll team up with another monkey, and he sort of teamed up with Apollo. And uh, so normally if Apollo's around, Count will start the trouble. And there's Count. Count's an older male. They just exchange some grunts. There's Count approaching. So here we have a typical standoff. Um, Jinx and uh, Count. And uh, you see Count is sort of backing down. Hasn't given up um, entirely. But um, Jinx is probably going to end up being more dominant than him if he comes across Count on his own. And Count's decided to walk off. Pedro on the left, Jinx on the right. Now the situation is totally different with a lower ranking male like Pedro. So there isn't like any type of aggression here at the moment. It's more like playing. Um, and assessing each other up because both of these two would be considered lower rank at the moment because Jinx is being introduced into the troop and Pedro is the current lowest rank male in the troop. Eating out in the troop is always a good sign because it means he's got his confidence. But uh, it can also be a, a time that you have to be very, very careful because uh, only high-ranking monkeys are supposed to eat the good stuff first. So uh, if they did uh, feel like he's pinching the food from them, he could get attacked at this point. So he does have to be very wary what he's doing. And that's why you'll see he'll eat and keep looking around just to make sure nobody's watching him or sneaking up on him anywhere. So you can see how he uses his enclosure as a place of safety, coming back to regain himself and then having a look out if everything's okay before he goes out again, but knows he can run back here in an emergency. So it's the afternoon of the third day that Jinx can go out, and he has been out today. Quite a bit in and out, although he did have a bit of a nap during lunchtime and this morning. So he hasn't explored the enclosure yet, really, only just gone in and out along 
the top part of the enclosure. We were just trying to keep some of the females out because uh, if he's able to just be in here, have lots of food and females coming in and out and no bother from the males, he may not have much incentive to go out. So there he is pulling at the door, which is fantastic because it means he is choosing to go out and that's what we want. The whole idea is that he can be in this enclosure full of trees, live as natural a life as possible and with a troop. Best rich enrichment anybody can offer. So Jinx just went out to explore. He's not immediately come to the gate. And he walks past the fence. He has been eating little bits of food in main feed. But we still give him his bowl because he's not eating enough at the moment. But in the next few days we might see if he'll stay out at main feed. And he's going up past Yankee's cage and coming back. So he's been doing this a lot. But as you can see, he's not rushing to come in. He's just staying nearby in safe space. And from his introduction cage, he can't see the other side of the enclosure. So he can't see really how big it is apart from the left side and the right side, but he can't see really the other side so well as to how far the enclosure goes. So it'll take him a little while just to explore and get comfortable with everything. So it's Jinx's fourth day that he's been able to go out into the enclosure. So he's been in and out now for three days. And we're still in the morning and he's gone up to the corner, found some food, which is good. For him to be able to sleep out, really, he needs to at least have climbed some trees and also eaten some food outside. So it's a first step. We don't want to really leave him out unless he knows a bit about, unless he knows see, and seen some of the enclosure. So Jinx is just eating from one of the food piles now on the right hand side, which is really good. If he can eat, that means we don't need to give him his AM plates, which means he's also more likely to go out in the troop. So at the moment he has two feeds a day. And he's gone further into the, tr into the troop, which is great. I think this is the furthest in, into the troop he's actually been so far. He's looking like he might climb a tree. Really hope so. This would be great progress for him. And he's back in his cage. Whoa. He's climbed his first tree. Fantastic. Wonderful to see them climbing their first trees when they've been in a smaller area. It's how monkeys should be, with their own kind, in trees, able to explore and live as natural a life as possible. That's what we're here for. see that Yoshi on the left he could see him from a distance which is why he's making the grunting noises there's also Apollo in the tree keeping an eye on him so this is Count and Jinx Count's the older boy outside they're quite calm with each other when they're one on one Jinx is inside the intro cage and the um, dynamics between Count and Apollo, so Count's on the right and Apollo's on the left. So when Apollo appears in the area who's more dominant than Count, then then Count will start um, to make vocalisations at Jinx. But when he's by himself, he doesn't. Um, so he, Count often, Apollo is often kind of the instigator who will give the chase um, and Count backs him up if needed but when he's by himself he's fine we've just thrown 
seeds to the HMB tree, Holton Barrington tree. And um, this is the first time that Jinx has actually gone out for the seeds, so we didn't give him any in his cage. And there he is eating them. He's choosing the ones on the outside at the moment. And you can see there's Hocus, the alpha nearby. She's the alpha family. And there's also Pedro there on the right as well. Okay, he's decided that's enough and come back in. But that's good that he went out to get his seeds for the first time without needing them in his cage. The more he becomes part of the troop, um, then he'll start eating outside. Climbed his first tree yesterday, ate from main feed pile yesterday as well. But we're still giving him a bit of food in his cage to make sure that he's got enough to eat because he only gets small amounts in the troop at the moment. <laughs> so he's uh, decided to pick all the seeds on the outside that have dropped from the bucket. So Pedro and Jinx were just having a bit of a play and now Pedro's actually grooming Jinx, which is great. They're definitely forming some kind of bond or alliance. And there's the Alphas, Hocus and Luxy on the right. So this is Jinx inside and Count outside. There's Pedro on the left and then Jinx. So this is how uh, alliances are formed. Pedro knows he's the lowest rank, so it's good for him to uh, make friends with Jinx and then the two of them will back each other up. Um, if they need to in a in a fight. So we're on the five till six shift at Jinx, and he's just gone out and he's managed to get himself a few bananas, which is great. And he's going to bring some back in as well. Well done, Jinx. So we're still allowing Jinx to come in as he likes. Um, if we close the door too soon, then there'll be a big panic, and it could cause him to escape or not go out again. So we have to be careful as to when we do things. So he's going in and out, got lots of bananas, um, but he's not going far in the troop. So we would like him to be able to go quite a bit further before he can stay out overnight. To score a banana on an integration is, um, is a real bonus because usually the troop will take all the bananas first and then the integration monkeys don't get all the nice ones. So Jinx not only got himself some bananas, he's also got a corn on the cob, which is also another favourite. So he's a very lucky boy today. The next step, of course, is eating the food in the troop with the other troop members. Well, I hope this gives you a little bit of insight into how we integrate uh, the adults. We will still have another episode on Jinx, just so you can see the final chapter. But otherwise, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for being part of the team, for supporting us, donating where you can, clicking on the ads. We do appreciate it. And from all of us at the Foundation, thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed it.